So today I'm talking about a Ford with the P1443 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Ford P1443 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission control system control valve. And what does this mean? Well, modern vehicles, they have what's called an EVAP system. And the EVAP system basically takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back into the engine to get burnt off so they don't escape into the atmosphere. This is for emissions. And the onboard computer seen a problem with this, so it's gonna have to be troubleshooted to know why. And some possible causes, well, it could be a bad gas cap, could be an evap leak, could be a purge valve, could be the vent valve, could be a charcoal canister, might be in the wiring, and possibly a fuel tank pressure sensor. And so the basics of what's going on with the evap system is that you're gonna have a hose, it's gonna come out of the gas tank, and it's gonna go over to what's called an evap charcoal canister. And the charcoal canister does a few things. It basically holds the gas vapors when the engine's not running as a storage location. And then there's also gonna be what's called a vent valve solenoid, and the onboard computer uses the vent valve to test the system. It'll open and close it at different times. And there'll also be a fuel tank pressure sensor which reports back to the onboard computer what's going on inside of the system and then you got a hose that's going up to the top of the engine and then up here there's going to be what's called a valve solenoid and what that does is it basically opens when the engine's running so all the gas papers go in to get burnt off and then it closes when the engine's not running so they don't escape and so the first thing to do when you get any evap code really is go check the gas cap be sure it's good because it is a part of the evap system it needs a seal or else the evap system could leak so go and check it out it might be good but double check be sure it's not cracked that the seal around it looks good and things like that if it does look bad then it's probably a good idea to replace it one thing to mention is that if you do replace it try to get an oem original gas cap because sometimes those third-party aftermarket gas caps sometimes they don't seal correctly so if possible try to get an oem original gas cap for your particular ford and if the gas cap looks good the next thing to go check out is going to be the purge valve solenoid this is going to be located up on top of the engine somewhere the exact location is going to vary a little bit it's going to depend on the engine and the year of the ford for example here's a 2016 ford focus with the 2.0 liter and the solenoid is right down in here right next to the throttle body and here's another example of the 2017 ford explorer and the purge valve solenoids back up close by the firewall but the solenoid is basically going to have like two ports on it one port is going to be coming from the charcoal canister and the other port is going to be going in the engine and it's going to have a wiring harness i made a video on how you go about testing these purge valves i'll put a link down below if you need to check that out but the next thing to do is to go either test or replace that purge valve solenoid and so if that all checks out good, the gas cap's good, the purge valve test good, then there's going to be a few different ways you go about trying to test these other components. You're going to have the EVAP charcoal canister, you're going to have the vent valve solenoid, and you're also going to have the fuel tank pressure sensor. And another thing is that there might be a leak somewhere inside of one of all these hoses or in any of these components. And so you can go around and check out all the hoses going around underneath from the gas tank to the charcoal canister and up to the top of the engine. But it can sometimes be kind of hard to spot any leaks going on. So if you took it to a mechanic, what they would do is they would use a smoke machine and they'd feed smoke into the EVAP system. And then wherever the smoke came out, they would know if there was a leak or not, which is a good way to test the EVAP system to see if there is a leak. There are some low cost smoke machines on like Amazon or eBay. I'll put a link down below if you need one. There's also some YouTube videos on how you can make these up for like five, ten dollars But however you do it, the next thing to go and do is to check the whole system to, to see if there's any leaks inside of any of these hoses or any of these other components and so if you go through and you check for that and there's no leaks then the next thing to go and check out is going to be the charcoal canister which can be located differently Newer vehicles usually have it up and around the gas tank somewhere. Older Fords quite often will put them up inside the engine compartment, so it's going to vary. But there's a charcoal canister located in there somewhere. You go check it out, check out all the hoses and things like this. Be sure it all looks like it's good, that there's no damage going on. And this can also have what's called a vent valve on it, which again, the location of that can vary. Sometimes it could be inside the charcoal canister, and then sometimes it could be in other locations. For example, here's a 2004 Ford Explorer, and the vent valve is located on top of the gas tank. You have to drop the whole gas tank to get to it. So be sure to get a diagram for your particular Ford EVAP system to know for sure how everything's laid out. But the next thing that you go and test is going to be that vent valve. And then the last thing to go and check out, if you checked everything else out and everything else is testing good and you just can't solve this problem, then go and check out this fuel tank pressure sensor, which again can be located differently. Sometimes it's located up on top of the fuel tank right here. This is the fuel tank pressure sensor on the left right here up by the fuel pump on this 2001 Ford Explorer. On many newer vehicles, it's located up on top of the fuel pump, like on the hose or something like that. So again, you're gonna have to get a diagram for how your particular EVAP system's laid out on your particular Ford, but there'll be a fuel tank pressure sensor located on the fuel tank or up around the fuel pump, like right here. This is a 2011 F350, and the fuel tank pressure sensor is located right on the line, right up near the fuel pump itself. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Ford with the P1443 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.